All right, now this lesson is going to be about kind of finding the bass notes for that kind of uh, cool country rhythm guitar. All right, so um, uh, here's the kind of consistent rhythm they're going to be using, and then all I have to do is just find out where those bass notes are. So the rhythm is going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, or one, two, and three, four, and. All right, so there's a rhythm. The bass note idea is basically to do the root note on the one, and then do the fifth of the chord on the three. So it's gonna be on the one and the three that we're switching between our notes. So for example, on E, what we have is we have bass note, six string open, down, up, and then fifth string, which is the fifth of the chord on the three, down, up. So six string, fifth string. Fifth, sixth string, fifth string. Another thing is that we kind of want to aim for the higher strings right there. That's going to kind of not really class with, clash with our bass movement right there. So there's our E chord. Now that same kind of idea works throughout all of our sixth string bar chords. So now if I go to an F sharp minor, sixth string on the one, fifth string on the three. All right, or uh, G sharp minor, any of those, that's kind of the idea there. Okay, so now moving on to other chords and where their fifths are. All right, most of the time the roots are going to be the first note that you're supposed to strum. So for example, our A, our root is going to be that uh, fifth string open. Uh, now our fifth can either be found on the fourth string. just like our E, but I like to go a little bit lower for that A, because that note on the fourth string is an E, so is this, so here we go. Same thing with our E chord and the sixth string bar chords, the same idea works. What we need to keep in mind though, is that since these are both open, that's equivalent to the same fret. So for all the fifth string bar chords, it works exactly the same, going lower, except that we have to make sure that um, whatever fret that we do on the sixth string is going to be the same as our fifth string root note. All right? So for example, B minor is on the second fret. We need to make sure that when we do our low bass note on the sixth string, it's also on the second fret. All right? That kind of works with any... Uh, chord with its root note on the fifth string. So for example, C. And also, uh, for that C, I made sure that I moved my third finger up to the same fret on the sixth string, which is the third fret. Same thing with our B7, uh, what I use for that kind of introduction thing. Since my root note is on the fifth string, second fret, my bass note is gonna be on the sixth string, second fret. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Next, we, I, I'll, I'm gonna go through two more chords. Next is gonna be D. With our D, we do the same thing as what we did for the A. We go down to the fifth string open. So any chord with a root note on the fourth string will work exactly the same. So for example, like an F. or our bar Ds. All right, next is gonna be, and finally, is gonna be the G. G tends to be the little bit of the hardest because we have a little bit of a string skip to do. Our fifth, if we were to go to a G bar chord, root note six string, we know exactly where to find that fifth now, right? Just on the, fourth, uh, on the fifth string. But that fifth string, the note we're actually hitting, is gonna be the D note, which is the same as the four string open. So if we were to do an open G, we'd want our root note, or we'd want to hit the six string first on the one, and then our four string on the three. All right, so if that makes sense, uh, try adding these into uh, some songs that you know and uh, countrify it. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.